What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over blog post keyword research to give you an idea of how to come up with different blog post ideas and then how to optimize your blog posts for really the top keywords and topics that relate to every single blog that you're writing. So the example I'm going to be going through today is on my website, I created this blog article, YouTube Advertising Costs Explain Your 2023 Guide. So as we scroll down here, you can see I have a video here. I have, we keep coming down the question, how much does YouTube advertising cost, budget and spend, cost per view, cost per 1,000 impressions, cost per conversion. So basically everything you need to know about costs, I've tried to cover in this article specific to YouTube advertising. Now, if we come over here to Google Search Console, we're looking at the last three months for this specific page and how many clicks and impressions it's driven from my website. So you can see this has been a really good article for me in terms of driving clicks and impressions. We're looking specifically at just this one page here. So I'm gonna come back to the Google Search Console and show you how you can find even more keywords from existing blog posts and how to optimize your existing blog posts. But first things first, coming over here, the way that I do blog post keyword research is I generally use a keyword research tool to get started to come up with a list of keywords, which I eventually turn into topics. So I'll go over how to do that in a minute. What you wanna do is write blog posts for your topics, write really comprehensive and detailed blog posts, completely covering that topic. Your blog post relevance is key. So coming back over here, you can see, if I scroll to the top, you can see January 27th, 2023 was when I last updated this blog post. Today is March 4th. So it's been updated basically within the last two months and it's something I try to keep updated throughout the year. It doesn't really change too much over the course of a year, but it is something where going back and just improving your content from time to time, a couple times a year is a really good practice because your blog post relevancy is one of the biggest and most important things that you need to know. For the most part, when you're searching things in Google, you're not gonna see really old blog articles pop up. You're gonna see things that were generally written or updated within the last six to 12 months. You may for some topics, but what that basically represents is you can come out with something that's a little bit more relevant and updated, and that is an opportunity. Now, number five is using the Google Search Console to find relevant keywords for your blog articles and additional topic ideas. So using a keyword research tool, we're gonna to come over here and one of the easiest keyword research tools to use is Keywords Everywhere. So if I need topics to write about related to YouTube advertising, you can see over here on the right-hand side, this is Keyword Surfer. They're gonna give you a ton of different keywords as well. So if we scroll down here, there's 76 total keywords. So just looking right here, types of YouTube ads, YouTube ad types, that is an article. YouTube targeting, how to target your ads on YouTube. Now for the example of keywords everywhere, one of the best things down here is they have long tail keywords. YouTube advertising costs, YouTube advertising revenue. So this is a different type of keyword where people who own YouTube channels or potentially want to own a YouTube channel wanna know how much they can actually make for each of their video views. The other thing, if we're just using Google, people also ask, so how much do YouTube ads cost? What is YouTube advertising? How much do a thousand views cost on YouTube ads? So very, very clearly doing the search, you can see that one of the main things people want to know is how much is YouTube advertising going to cost me, which is why I created that blog article, which is why I created a video about the topic as well. Now coming in here, you can obviously see there's more things, YouTube advertising formats, we could see disadvantages of YouTube advertising, benefits of YouTube advertising, so pros and cons of YouTube advertising. That could be a video and a blog article that's probably gonna eventually drive some traffic and ultimately drive some ad revenue. Now you could use keywords everywhere for basically any topic you wanna write about. If I wanna write about landing pages, I enter landing pages in here, we scroll down, and this is Keyword Surfer. You can see there's a ton of keywords here using Keyword Surfer. Using keywords everywhere, you can see people also search for, so examples, templates, design ideas. So examples updated for 2023 is an, one that I would create. Inspiration, these could be about four or five different unique blog articles. Coming down here, you're gonna see some similar types of keywords here. So just coming in and seeing all of these keywords, how to create landing pages for Shopify, what's the best landing page design, 20 different landing page templates to use. So you can find a lot of different ideas by just simply using keywords everywhere and looking at the long tail keywords for each of these individual keywords. Now you can also use a tool like the Google Keyword Planner. If for example, I wanna write about 
a topic like finance, maybe I want to write about investing. So what we do is we write in investing here. Maybe I want to focus on dividend investing, stock investing. So we start entering some keywords in here and click on get results. Using the Google Keyword Planner, this is where you want to come up with keywords that you can target. And coming over here to refine keywords, sometimes you can just find different ideas within this. This one isn't too good here, but for some of the different topics, you can find a bunch of ideas just by coming through refining your keywords. Now, just right up at the top here, online broker, that could be an article, the five best online brokers. Investment strategies, five different investment strategies to use in 2023. What is total return investing? What is income investing? What is a good dividend strategy when investing? How do I generate more passive income with investing? Coming through here and looking at all these different keywords by relevance, now you're gonna see things that some of these were trending last year. They're, they may not be things that you're gonna be trying to write about. Maybe you don't wanna write about specific stocks, but as you come down here and you're looking at some of these different keywords, you're gonna find a bunch of different ideas. And what you could also do is say, okay, I don't wanna write about specific stocks. So let's come in here and say, keyword text does not contain stock. So that's gonna get rid of a lot of these different keywords here text match so that will get rid of some of these ones that maybe aren't as relevant index funds so 10 different index funds to invest in in 2023 and beyond keep coming down here so penny stocks to buy another keyword text to, to get rid of is price here but I can tell you if I come in here and I scroll through here for about 30 minutes I could probably come up with 10 to 20 different content ideas now if you want to make this a little bit easier I've been using chat GPT a little more often to come up with content ideas so I recently, I'm looking up things for YouTube advertising. What are 20 blog post ideas about YouTube advertising that I can write for my blog about paid advertising? 10 tips to creating high converting YouTube ads. Why YouTube ads are the future of paid advertising. Now, pros and cons, that's one of the ones I said before. So that is a really good article that I can create. Here are some of the pros, here are some of the cons for YouTube advertising and why you should or shouldn't get started depending on what your business is common mistakes that marketers make, how to target to reach your ideal audience. So there's a lot of different things that I can use here. And then if I just wanna find some long tail keywords, what are 20 popular long tail keywords for YouTube advertising, best YouTube advertising strategies, how to create YouTube ads that convert. I actually did this recently. If I open my spreadsheet, you can see if I'm trying to cover these four topics on my YouTube channel, you can see all of the different things I came up with. And I did all of this by just doing some simple prompts into chat GPT and using some of the long tail keywords that were available to me from keywords everywhere. Copy and pasted them here. And now what I'm going to do is go through all of these individual keywords and turn them into topic ideas. Facebook ads tutorial for beginners 2023. I'll do a Microsoft advertising tutorial for beginners 2023 how to create a landing page from scratch. That could be a really long video going over different types of landing pages to create depending on what your business is. So this is blog post keyword research is using keywords to come up with blog post ideas and then to take it to that next level, what you can do is again, come back into here to the keyword planner. Let's use my YouTube advertising costs as an example. So we'll do YouTube advertising costs, click on get results. We're gonna make sure we don't have our filter here because it probably doesn't change too much here, but we'll get rid of our old filter. And what you can do is just say, okay, I wanna find all of the most relevant keywords related to YouTube advertising costs, and then we'll go by average monthly searches. So cost per 1,000 impressions, YouTube ad cost calculator, so that could be something I write about, YouTube ad cost per 1,000 impressions again, so we'll keep coming down, cost per view, non-skippable YouTube ads cost, so you can come up with all sorts of different keywords before you even write your blog article to basically create the outline of your blog article. You can also come in here and do again, YouTube advertising costs. And what I like to do sometimes is search the keyword that I'm writing about, not only look at what types of articles are ranking really high here, but also look at the questions. How much does a 30 second YouTube ad cost? How much does it cost to get an ad on YouTube? How much does it cost monthly? How much do a thousand views cost? Click on these drop downs, and they're just gonna keep giving you all sorts of questions. Makes it very easy to come up with an article outline and all of the different things you wanna actually cover. There are gonna be some redundant questions here, but just cover every single thing. How much does a 30 second YouTube ad cost on average? How much do a thousand views cost on average? How many YouTube views do I need to make at 5,000 per month? That's someone asking from an actual creator standpoint. 
what you want to do is really focus on the marketer for this article and maybe you write a separate article on your blog from a creator standpoint how many views do you need to make five thousand dollars per month once you have your article all written you've published your article here then what you can do is you can look at all of the different search terms using google search console entering our specific page here as a filter and then if we scroll down here we could see all of the search terms that are driving clicks and impressions to this page so i like using this not only to find more keywords to target within my existing article so non-skippable youtube ads costs cost per 1000 impressions average cpm some of these are going to be pretty similar but if we come down here you can see they've given me a thousand different keywords that have driven clicks and impressions if we come down you're going to eventually find some keywords that are going to be separate from youtube that you could actually target with a separate article and sometimes you do that by actually looking at total impressions because there's going to be keywords that drive a lot of impressions that maybe you haven't thought to actually target yet cost per view what is cost per view i'm getting almost 1200 impressions over the last three months but zero clicks 53.7 position not the greatest position so cost per view is a separate completely separate keyword i can target with a completely separate video and blog article and probably drive more clicks back to my website clicks back to my youtube channel and we'll come down here and find one more so what you can do is actually find all of these different keywords advertising costs here something completely separate you can also use filters and just say okay i want to make sure the search term does not contain youtube and it's going to give me so let's say queries not containing youtube so not only can you use this to find additional things to actually write about with your blog articles but you can also use it to say okay let me find some different search terms not even related to youtube that i can write about with or create videos about separately so again we're doing blog post keyword research so what is cp view advertising what is cost per view what are average advertising costs per platform cpm versus cpv mobile video ad cpm so again we're getting all sorts of different questions here this could be five to ten blog articles just coming through here and getting rid of some of the things that may be redundant some of the things that aren't going to be relevant for my blog but i can come through here again a thousand more keywords that don't even contain youtube so we can find all sorts of different ideas and you can see our average position for these keywords aren't good at all our average click-through rate is really bad 21,000 impressions it's actually been growing the total impressions but only five clicks so what that represents is an opportunity find your top pages remove some of the words that may be way more relevant for this specific page where i can cover this topic much better so coming over here again to blog post keyword research you're using a keyword research tool to find keywords that you want to turn into topics you need to write really relevant really comprehensive blog posts for those topics and then you can use the google search console to find more relevant keywords for your existing blog article so maybe things you haven't covered as well as you should have covered specific questions that people are asking that you haven't answered in your blog article and then you can also find other topic ideas to say you know instead of having cost per view trigger this article let me do a specific article for what is cost per view and then try to get more traffic back to my blog so this is blog post keyword research a pretty basic video but using some simple keyword research tools like keywords everywhere using the people also ask section for specific keywords that you're looking up seeing what's ex already ranking for some of these top keywords looking at the google keyword planner to find more keyword ideas and then again don't be afraid to use a tool like chat gpt to say i need some long tail keywords for this topic that i'm planning on writing about doesn't matter what your topic is use the same exact prompt here and you can find long tail keyword ideas you can find blog post ideas i've done this for youtube video ideas and again it's come up with all of these different topics and keywords that i'm going to be creating videos about that i'm going to be writing about in 2023 so if you have questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.